Okay, match starts at about 8 minutes 15 seconds. Let's see how long these two hex perks last. the hell wait what what were you doing there Claudette what the hell was that okay well basement's not here someone's working on Jen upstairs or right there That was a great dead heart. One sack on Devour, thank you. None on Make Your Choice, but that's okay. Hey Cutlass, how are we doing? Someone working on Jen upstairs. Stay away from the hook. Let them get the unhook. Come on, go for the unhook. Go for the unhook. Come on, go for the unhook. Just got done helping the wife prepare food. Where's your gang at? Uh, waiting on him. Just waiting on him. Got no make your choice value because I hit someone who was injured. I don't even know if that was the person who did the unhooking. That's okay. Barbecue, tell me, tell me, tell me. There's one person over there. Let's go up and check on this gen. Another token on Devour. <laughs> Barbecue, tell me, tell me, tell me. These guys haven't gotten a single gen done yet, but they also haven't broken either of the totems either. I don't want to go too close to that hook. I want to stay back over here. Oh, someone's... Who's trying to reveal me? I don't want to. There we go. They're not up here, though. They must be on the other side of this wall, then. Oh, they're upstairs. <laughs> now they're going to want to look, start looking for Devour. Yeah, running some ghosty boy. I'm using one of the builds that I sent you. She is gone. <laughs> it's 
fine, chill. Fang, you can't hide, you got no iron will. I can hear you from like half the map away. Now oh, Claudette was right over here. Uh, waiting on everyone to, to be ready to join, Mama. be awesome. You're going to have to kind of talk me how to do that through Discord. I hear them. I heard them. over here. Tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna break this pallet. I just heard the Claudette behind me. There she is. Smile for the camera. Ah, oh, beautiful photo. I take such beautiful photos. So these guys, two survivors left, three gens left to do. They're not getting out of here. And even if they find the Devourer, it's protected by Undying. So amazingly enough, they did not break the devour. Amazingly enough. I thoroughly expected them to break both totems within the first minute. Okay, no one's no one's working on that. Right now, basically they're just gonna be hiding. They're not gonna oh, someone DC'd so someone else can get the hatch. They're pulling that little trick. door is really far away. I don't think I can protect them both. Um, shit. Okay, there is a door here. Oh. Nope. Nope. I could be really toxic, kind of take her into the exit gate and mori her there. But I won't. Well, that can't. That photo didn't look nowhere near as good as the first one. Let's see. Did any of these guys have small game? Because okay, so that's well. I have a red rank in my lobby. That's an issue. Um, but I'm curious, like. 
who were they survived with friends with to get into my lobby? Because a red rank should not be in my lobby. Um, I don't see small game. So that was the difference right there. If any one of these guys were running small game, they would have been able to find and break my totems, no problem. So I'm, I'm, if, if this... If this guy right here, the level rank 4, was not survived with friends with any one of these guys, I'm really curious, how is a rank 4 ending up in my lobby? This must have been like the very last Claudette that got killed. I'm guessing so. The only thing I can think of, this person DC'd. Probably to give this person the hatch. So I'm guessing somehow these two are probably survived with friends. The Khalifa and the Dark Dreamer. That would be my guess. That's the only way that this rank 4 would realistically be in my lobby under current matchmaking. Unless they've got MMR turned on, which is entirely possible. 